Hey, Psych2Goers. Have you ever been to therapy? There is a common misconception about it, where most people immediately think that visiting a therapist means that you have a mental health issue. While psychotherapy is a helpful tool to cope with mental health issues, it's also a wonderful tool that can help you cope with stress and other distressing emotions. Therapy provides you a safe space where you can unload your emotional burdens, vent about your experiences, and develop skills to help you handle challenges you may face in life. Are you wondering if you should try therapy? Here are nine signs you may need it. Number one, you're having difficulty regulating your emotions. Emotional regulation is the ability to control your own emotional state. It's a process that the majority of us are accustomed to doing. For example, if you were to accidentally spill a cup of coffee, your response might be temporary irritation, annoyance, and a tinge of sadness. You might even yelp if the coffee spills on you. But if you find that your immediate reaction is to run around the library cursing and getting upset at everyone, it might be a sign you're having some trouble regulating your emotions. Oftentimes, persistent emotional dysregulation is a precursor for depression or other mental health issues. However, emotional dysregulation does not always appear as an overly emotional outburst. It can also look like repressed, tight smiles and tears blinked into submission. Number two, you're not performing effectively. Have you been struggling at work lately? While your performance level may not always be at 100%, a constant decrease in performance can be a sign of a struggle with a mental or emotional issue. In an interview with Forbes magazine, Dr. Romani Dervasula points out that mental health issues can cause a lapse in memory, impair your attention, and cause you to feel apathetic, which can kill your drive to do any work. Additionally, a decrease in performance can be caused by stress. Number three, you've experienced changes in your sleep and appetite. Have you been having problems sleeping and eating? It's common to have fluctuations in eating and sleeping patterns, but significant changes in your eating and sleeping patterns may be a sign that you need to take a moment to figure out what is causing those changes. Typically, stress plays a role. It has been shown that chronic stress can certainly cause changes in sleep and appetite. However, those with mental health issues may also exhibit similar changes. Number four, your relationships are struggling. Your mental health can affect all aspects of your life, especially your relationships with other people. If you notice that you've pulled away from your relationships or are shying away from opportunities to create new relationships, you might wanna figure out why. A common cause is an internal emotional or mental struggle. In these cases, a therapist may be able to help you figure out the underlying causes of your struggling relationships, giving you the skills to improve your relationships. Number five, you've experienced trauma. Therapy is a great resource for those who have experienced trauma. Even years after the trauma, the event can still leave scars that can hinder or impact your future. Hence, it's a great idea to unpack and cope with those unresolved emotions in a safe and non-judgmental environment. Additionally, a therapist can provide you with the tools to help you reframe the trauma to overcome it. Number six, you no longer enjoy your favorite activities. It's normal to outgrow certain hobbies and passions. As you age, your interests change but a sudden disinterest in current hobbies and activities can be indicative of more than just maturity. A lack of joy in things you once enjoyed sometimes speaks to a feeling of emptiness or apathy. This feeling is common for those who are experiencing depression, neglect, grief, or abuse. Number seven, you're grieving. Grief is an incredibly complex emotion. It's born out of loss of a loved one, a loss of a job, or a loss of an opportunity. This period of mourning can be a long and painful process, but you don't have to go through it alone. Therapy or counseling can provide you a safe space filled with compassion to help you process your grief. Number eight, your physical health has taken a hit. It's now common knowledge that the mind and the body are interconnected. Whatever is going on in the mind is often manifested in the body and vice versa. Therefore, a change in physical health can sometimes point to a mental health problem. Studies have linked chronic pain with mental health issues such as depression and anxiety. Physical ailments can cause distress, anxiety, and in some cases, depression. And number nine, you're working on self-improvement but feel overwhelmed. Therapy is not always about fixing something. It can also be about growth. If you've decided to walk down the path of self-improvement, you know how overwhelming it can be at first. There are countless books and seminars on the topic, but the best resource can be therapy. A therapist is almost like a librarian in the sense that they can direct you to the right resources for the particular topic you want to improve on, while also providing you with additional information. 
They're better equipped to help you understand what areas you should focus on improving and to give you the right tools to achieve your self-improvement goals. Have you ever been to therapy? Did your experience there help you? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.